I have the pleasure of speaking with Anthony Tennyson from Awaken Life Sciences. How are you today, Anthony? Uh, Tracy, I, I'm really well. It's good to speak to you again. Uh, so much news has been pouring out of Awaken here in the last eight, 10 weeks, and yeah. I'm not even certain what my favorite piece of news is. However, I liked your appointment of biotech and investment veteran Dennis Purcell that you cre recently announced. I feel like the market missed that announcement. Can you talk to us about this? In, in, indeed, I can. I'm happy to do so. Um, Dennis is is re respected and renowned as one of the most influential biotech in, per, per, per people in the biotechnology investment community. Um, he was the managing director of Life Sciences Investment Banking in Hamburger and Quitch, and later Chase HQ after it was acquired, and then into JP Morgan. Uh, he actually set up the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference back in a previous incarnation when it was the Humberger and Quitch Healthcare Conference. Um, so he is really a very well respected individual in the biotech investment industry. And he's currently a uh, founder and chairman of As Asling Capital, which is a $2 billion uh, AUM uh, biotechnology investment fund. So we appointed him as a special advisor to me as the CEO. And really the purpose of that is to set us up with the highest probability of success for our planned uplisting onto the NASDAQ next year. And the reason that we're grateful to have Dennis with us in the company is to enable us to have the right connections uh, and the right conversations in the lead up to that uplisting and in the aftermath after that uplisting. And of course, American investors, North American investors, I think we should all take note about what you've already done in the UK. Would you like to provide an update on how it's going over there right now? Yeah, ha happy to. So, so Tracy, as you know, but just for the benefit of your audience, um, we're a biotechnology company. Um, we are researching, developing, and commercializing therapeutics to treat addiction with a near-term focus on alcohol use disorder, which is a condition that affects 400 million people globally and for which the current standard of care is, is quite poor. Um, so what we do, Tracy, is we do two things. We do R&D and we do commercialization. And in our R&D business, we've got four R&D programs. In our commercialization business, we've got two revenue streams. So really that sets us apart from most other biotechnology companies uh, because we've got a deep R&D pipeline, but we're generating revenue today. And our core revenue generation channel is clinics that we own and operate in the UK. And we're really pleased with the progress those clinics are making. Uh, we reported a 24% Q on Q revenue growth from Q4 last year to Q1 this year. And at Q2, it's looking strong. Um, we Q2 this year will include a full quarter's worth of uh, revenue from our lead clinic. So should be should be a good quarter. Um, and so, yeah, things are going well for us in the commercialization business in our clinics in the UK. And for those of you out there in investor intel land who may be familiar with alcohol use disorder, you would be you would know then that most treatments are not successful. Can you talk to us about your treatment and your success rate, please, Anthony? Yeah, indeed, ha happy to do so. So our approach to treating addiction, you could view that, Tracy, as being the third evolution in treating addiction. Uh, evolution one is talk-based therapy. So it's the AA, it's admirable, it doesn't work got a 90% relapse rate. Evolution two is drugs and therapy used in sequence. Um, so drugs that target an individual receptor site to sort of block the effectiveness of them. Uh, and then that sets you up to increase the probability of success of getting through detox before then engaging in your standard 12 steps uh, program. Um, so what we are is we are the third evolution in treating addiction, which is drugs and therapies used in combination. And so we use psychedelic drugs to disrupt the brain circuits that house the behaviors that drive the addiction. And that approach enables us to develop therapeutics to treat both substance and also behavioral addictions. And that's, that's our approach. Um, we have a completed, our lead program is combined ketamine and therapy together to treat alcohol use disorder. Um, typically speaking, you've got a 75% relapse rate with alcohol use disorder. In our phase 2B trial, Tracy, we delivered 86% abstinence and 14% relapse in the six months post-treatment. So our lead program delivered three times better results than the current standard of care. 
Um, and that really has the ability to transform the treatment of alcohol use disorder on a global basis, has the ability to provide hope for individuals, families and communities for whom the current standard of care is just not working. Um, and that's what drives us every day is to provide effective alternatives to people suffering from this terrible disease. So amazing, mind blowing results. We have revenue in place. You're clipping along towards a NASDAQ uplisting a uh, success track record here in England. Um, I would like to have our investors take a look at both your background and many of the members of your board. I think you have a very impressive management and board team. So, you know, with all this news that has just come out recently, let me ask you a fun question. I yeah. noticed on your LinkedIn account that you were featured in a Netflix TV series. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah, so well, now I wasn't I wasn't featured in this, but uh, Dr. Ben Sessa, our co-founder and head of psychedelic medicine, featured heavily in the current in the episode on on MDMA. Uh, Dr. Ben Sessa is one of the leading researchers in the area of M the use of MDMA assisted therapy to treat alcohol use disorder. Um, he led a phased successful safety and tolerability phase 2A trial. Uh, he, Dr. Laurie Higbed and Professor David Nutt, who all now work for us, led that trial uh, out of Imperial College. We've acquired the results, but yeah, Ben featured heavily in, in that episode. And Ben is, you know, he's, he's a co-founder of the company with me. He's a, he's a leading authority globally in the use of MDMA assisted therapy to treat alcohol use disorder. Uh, and he's just, he's a great guy. Well, Anthony, thank you so much for joining us today. And we look forward to following your updates closely. And for anybody interested, please go to the Awaken Life Sciences website to find out more. Thank you, Anthony. Tracy, it's a pleasure. Take care.